Commissioner Boschotti, along with Ms. Alani Tenement Todman is going to present Ms. Williams with a gift. Afternoon, Ms. Williams. Thank you for all the years of service to the territory, the employee, Frederick State, and of course the Department of Tourism as a long time leader for us. We want to present you with this 2019-2020 Mark Grand Marshall statue or picture of St. Point, as well as a piece from our Fusion Christmas Festival. What a sight to see music, culture, and pageantry. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Well, culture just uh, is part of my family. If you look uh, down by the platform, that was my aunt. And like I said before, I've done many things that looking back at all I have done before, I am very grateful. All I can say today, I am grateful and I thank you. Because not everyone is just lucky to be standing here to be grateful. And what I did or have done before, it was from the heart. And as long as you do things from the heart, you will get reward from their hearts. And I thank you and thank you and I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I know this guy. I want to thank you so much for the, the presentation to Ms. Asta Williams. And we definitely wanted to get also some remarks from Dr. Brian in just a moment. But again, let's give a round of applause to our Grand Marshal, Ms. Asta Williams, and the Department of Tourism for presenting you the gift. You know, it's so important to recognize um, individuals in the community while they're alive. And so I'm so happy to see that we're giving individuals in the territory who preserve our culture their flowers while they can, you know, see them. So thank you so much. Dr. Well, Brian is here. We definitely want to start off the parade with you. Well, I walked from the very beginning. I saw them lined up up there. I'm letting you know you have a good day in store here in Frederick said It's going to be a good parade day. I have to get a room and pull the police, everybody, to get them down here finally. So look forward to having a great time. I want to take this time especially to thank all the people that make Carnival Special, Festival Special, the Division of Festival, and the Department of Tourism, and all of you that come out here and support all the people in the parade and support us as we move forward. So looking forward to a fantastic uh, 2020. Um, and I, like I just said on the radio, everybody have a really good time today because there's no administrative leave or anything else coming until way down in the year when Carnival come again. So thank you for coming out and have a fantastic day. So you doing good? Yeah, I hear that there's a, a dish inside. A oh yeah? Like, I gotta go check it out. And we also have our Miss St. Croix on our way down as well. I'm glad that you're here. Rosa. I, I want to present we have our St. Croix Festival you princess have a lot of also on her way down. It's not being written now. It's stories about our past, our history. I don't know if somebody many, many more, so we're not going to have a big gap at all. So you guys can anticipate being able to see all of our contestants, all those who are um, registered in the parade, back to back. Yeah. 
really. So the very that. much anticipated parade is on its way. I can't even remember have, breakfast. Um, slip someone up to <laughs> that place on her way down. As I said, um, just previously, we also have um, the St. Corey walking down with Dani Rosa as well as the um, princess. Yeah. And all of the other royalty for this festival. Yes, yes, yes. My aunt, my grandmother was a seamstress, made costumes for many, many things, but most especially for me. So some years I would have clowns one day, Indians the next day, but it's always been a part of us to really celebrate uh, the, the whole parade. By the way, my name is Nicole Tyson, and I'll be you know, MC over the afternoon. But over the years, I have seen how festival has grown into the wonderful part of how we have today. So even the village, when you look at the production we put on, people are continuously asking us, Oh, we should have a music festival, we should have a music festival. But in fact, we have three music festivals every year. We bring in world-class talent, an amazing local talent, and nobody really pays attention to it because it's in the middle of our carnival of festivals. So we've got, tonight, I think we got Tess on stage, we've had Pressure, we've had Our City, uh, we had Ras Patch here, you know, we had Grab Morgan, all for free. Um, you can't wind any better than that. You come to the Virgin Islands and you get seven days of pure entertainment from world class entertainment and spectacular entertainment artists. Lastly, your favorite part of festival. You know, my favorite part is always Calypso 10. I really think that Calypso is losing its value as an art form. I love the double up chakra in the meanings and stuff. This year we had a good 10, but I love to see when more of those. The, 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 the local uh, Calypsonians historically participate. And, and it inspires me to see the young people coming up. Um, special shout out goes to uh, Kevin Jr. this year, the youngest uh, Coca Mana ever to participate in it. It was really great. So the pageantry of Calypso and all of the music around Soka, the steel time, all of that is part of what we do with them. It's, it's just good to see the young people. Okay, so now we have Miss Ashley Williams, our grandma, uh, Shelly I'd like Crunch to give a special shout out to Shamari, who um, was in St. Croix, oh, organizing the music of the Williams, very much an emergency stand. Amazing job with our festival. So many more to come. I can't wait to rock to the carnival. We love Virgin Islands. This year is going to be hotter than ever. So welcome, Miss Ashley Williams, our grand marshal. Don't miss it in April. I'll be there. Will you? Great. Thank you, sir. Thank you.